One thing that can really affect the price of a salary sacrifice car is benefit in kind tax, and particularly for hybrids. Absolutely, it's a really big thing to consider, and it's why you actually see most schemes that are set up, which is completely electric. It's fixed at 2%, and that doesn't change. Plug-in hybrids, however, vary, and it varies depending on vehicle range that it can do full electric and the emissions it produces. Well, the range tends to be sort of between 5 to upwards of 18%. If you've got a vehicle value of £50,000, and it attracts 12% benefit in kind, it'll give you a value of £6,000. Now, if you were a 40% taxpayer, obviously bear in mind if you're 20, 40 or 45, this is where it would differ. If you times it by the taxpayer you are, so if you times it by 0.4 as a 40% taxpayer, you're left with £2,400. And then it's ultimately costing you £200 a month in benefit in kind tax. How much is it on a Tesla, for example? So a Tesla attracts a 2% benefit in kind. If you picked a Tesla with a £50,000 P11D value, a 2% benefit in kind, which would be £1,000, and that would be around about £33 a month in benefit in kind tax for a 40% tax taxpayer which is sort of £160 a month saving which is why obviously over a three year term that's we're talking £6,000 it tends to be a more expensive car an electric car because the BIK tax saving is so low and the money you save on income tax is why it starts making so much sense to go full electric.